What's good, Cubers? It's your boy, Matt, and I'm back with another card of the week. You know, a little while ago, I got into a discussion with one of my online viewers about a card, and I realized this is a great time for card of the week. So, let's get started. Divest, for one black, you get a sorcery that says, Target player reveals their hand. You choose an artifact or a creature card from it. That player discards that card. So what we have here is another one mana black hand destruction card. And there's been a bunch of these printed over the history of magic. So I want to point out that A, it's sorcery speed, just like all the others. And that B, it does have a small drawback. It only pulls artifacts or creatures, which gives it some downside in the later game because odds are the creatures are already on the battlefield. But if you get to cast this guy on turn one, chances are you're sucking a creature out of your opponent's hand almost every time. And if you're in a vintage cube, you might have more artifacts and as a result, maybe you get to snatch a mox or the ultimate feel bad, you play it on turn one and suck Black Lotus out of your opponent's hand. Oh, oh, so many bad feelings. So. The question is, is Divest cubable? Because, like I said, there are a bunch of these effects. So let's take a minute and compare Divest to the other hand destruction cards we're currently playing in cube. Thoughtseize, Inquisition of Kozilek, and Duress are the staples that everything else is measured by. So let's look at them real quick. Thoughtseize, same mana cost, sorcery speed, target player reveals his hand, you choose a non-land card from it, that player discards that card, you lose two life. So there's the downside of losing two life, but Thoughtseize takes anything, which is why he is the best one mana black hand destruction, in my opinion. Just the best, because he takes care of any problem in your opponent's hand. You look in their hand and see they've got these amazing combo pieces, well now they're gone. Look in their hand and they've got this really aggressive creature you're worried about, now it's gone. So Thoughtseize is the best one mana black sorcery hand destruction spell there is. Inquisition of Kozilek, though, is really good also. Target player reveals their hand, you choose a non-land card from it, with a converted mana cost three or less, they discard that card. Now, the downside to Inquisition of Kozilek is that it has to cost three or less, but if you're early in the game, Inquisition is going to steal some kind of early drop creature or some kind of removal spell. Most of the removal spells in cube are three mana and under, so a lot of times Inquisition of Kozilek can help save your creature's life if you're in an aggro build or if you're in some kind of control mirror matchup you can snatch that control spell out of their hand snatch that counter spell snatch that bounce spell and then get a lot of value that way and then lastly is duress target opponent reveals their hand you choose a non-creature non-land card from it so duress actually has a lot of value in cube as well because there's a high density of planeswalkers there's a high density of artifacts and even enchantment removal in quotation marks before the enchantment ever hits the board and i actually like all three of these better than divest because they all just hit more targets remember divest only gets artifacts and creatures whereas these will get almost anything with a couple of exceptions here or there. But there's even more hand destruction available to us in cube, so let's look at some of those cards. Hem to Turok and Mind Twist are the other big hand destruction cards. Now, Hem to Turok is double black, target player discards two cards at random. Now, random is not as good as picking, I openly admit that. But, if it's your opponent's turn three and your turn two, because you're on the draw, then when you him to Turok them, chances are there's only four, five cards in their hand, and you're getting rid of half of those cards, so that feels really good. And then Mind Twist is the card you play if you don't want to have friends anymore, because they have to discard their entire hand at random, if you can pay for their entire hand. So it's not as good early, but good gracious, I, can, I just have to admit, I don't play Mind Twist, I think it creates a lot of feel-bads amongst my players, nobody likes having their entire hand Mind Twisted away, and then waiting around for their opponent to figure out a way to kill them, so I don't play Mind Twist. That being said, both of these cards are really, really good. But there's also Hand Destruction stapled onto black creatures. So let's take a look at those. Kite Sail Freebooter enters the battlefield. Your opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land, and you exile that card until the Freebooter leaves the field. Brain Maggot enters the battlefield. Your opponent reveals their hand. You pick a non-land card and you exile it till the Maggot leaves the field. And the Mesmeric Fiend does the same thing. Your opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land. You exile it. So 
All three of these cards, when they hit the battlefield, they get to go into their opponent's hands and pull a card out and exile it until the Freebooter, the Maggot, or the Fiend leave the battlefield. So there's all these different hand destruction effects in black. I actually like the Freebooter the best of these three because when he hits the battlefield, you can exile that card, but because he flies, there's the possibility that you still get to swing in with him in some kind of black aggro deck. Whereas most of the time, you're going to be holding the Brain Maggot or the Mesmeric Fiend back, trying not to let them die so your opponent doesn't get that bomb that you pulled out of their hand back. What does all of this mean for Divest? Well, what it actually means is that there's a ton of hand destruction already in black. And the question is, do you want to give up another slot in your one mana black slot to play Divest? If we play two of these creatures, the other three hand removal spells, and then him to Turok, because I'm not playing Mind Twist, I, I want to keep my friends. So that's five to six hand destruction spells. And so what I think it comes down to is, is your cube large enough to warrant that extra hand destruction spell or are you playing a hand destruction archetype in your black section in which case maybe you slam divest into your cube which brings us back to our main question is divest cubable and i think that it is with some caveats I do think it is likely to hit something good early in the game. I think it cross-pollinates with aggro and control, control decks like hand destruction, aggro decks like hand destruction, and both for the same reason. They can remove their opponent's threats before they ever cast them. Another upside is that this card is a common, so it's bulk, you can probably get a hold of one for free, and you can just try it in your cube and see if you like it. I think it could be stronger in vintage cubes, or, or cubes that have a whole lot of artifacts, which gives it more targets later in the game or in opening hands. Uh, the more targets for this card, the better, because it is more specific than the other black one drops. As far as cons go, I think it's the fourth best uh, one mana black sorcery hand destruction spell, and I think cube size matters. I think if you're in a small, tight cube of 360 cards, you probably don't want a fourth one mana hand disruption spell. I just I, I feels like too much when you can embed it into your creatures and into your other mana slots. However, if you're trying to strengthen black aggro, if you're trying to strength, strengthen black control, if you think Inquisition of Kozilek and Thoughtseize are just too expensive and you're looking for a budget alternative, if you're playing a hand disruption archetype, if you're playing a pauper cube, if you're playing a pauper cube, you slam that best. Or lastly, if your cube is just really large and you're looking to help increase the density of that effect, then divest is definitely worth playing there. That's going to do it for today, Cubers. If there's a card you want us to cover for Card of the Week, leave it in the comments below and we'll take a look at it. If you like what we're doing here at Cube for Two, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, let us know. And if you want to reach out to us, you can check us out on Twitter, at Cube for Two. And as always, until next time, shuffle up and keep cubing, my friends.